Hey friends, College Essay Guy here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the supplemental essays. And a lot of students don't know this, but the supplemental essays can in some cases make the difference. They can be more important than the personal statement themselves. I'll share with you in this video how to organize your supplemental essays in a way that's gonna save you, I think like 20 hours in this process, no joke. I'll also share with you some do's and don'ts for that why us essay that a lot of highly selective schools ask for. And I'll talk to you how Elon Musk can actually help you write that community service essay. Here we go. First, organize all of your supplemental essay topics into what I call an essay tracker spreadsheet. You'll find one at the link below. What this involves is pretty simple. You're gonna take all of your schools, put them in the left column, then you're gonna put all the topics that you need to write in the next column, and then the word limits and the due dates. Once you've done that, and I know this sounds super simple and super basic, but it's gonna help you with step number two. Use super topics to save a ton of time. Now, what is a super topic? A super topic is basically an activity that you've spent a ton of time doing and that you feel like shows a lot of different sides to you and that also can work for several different prompts. So let's say, for example, you're applying to a school like Michigan and they're asking about like a community that you've been a part of. And let's say you're also applying to like Stanford and they're asking for like, uh, what's an intellectual idea that's meaningful to you? Could it be that this intellectual idea is somehow connected to the community that you're a part of? So that when you send this essay off to Michigan, it's including not only the intellectual idea, but also the community and vice versa for Michigan, it's also including that community and that intellectual idea. And let's say you add a third school, like let's say a third school is asking you for like an extracurricular activity that you've spent a lot of time doing, which is a lot of schools, by the way. Suddenly we've got like a Venn diagram, right? Where you've got a community that you're a part of, Plus you've got an intellectual idea that you're excited about and potentially an extracurricular, can you see my Venn diagram here? An extracurricular activity that you've spent time in. That essay that you write that works for all three schools is not only gonna save you time having to write three different essays, but it's gonna be a much better essay. Am I right? All right, next the Why Us essay, which is basically this essay where schools are like, tell us why you love us, please. Really it's like, why are we a great fit for one another? I've got lots to say about it, but I'm gonna keep it to these few tips. First of all, please don't talk about the size, location, or the weather. Why? Take a hint from Emory University, whose YS used to read, many students decide to apply to Emory University based on our size, location, reputation, and yes, the weather. Besides these valid reasons as a possible college choice, why is Emory a particularly good match for you? Why are they saying this? Because they're tired of essays that basically talk about these things. Another tip, please don't mention rankings in your Why Us essay. Why? Because saying that a school is highly ranked, first of all, shows them that your ranking's obsessed, which is not a pretty quality. Uh, second, it basically doesn't give any sense of like why you and the school are a great fit, which is what your YS essay should do. The US News and World Report rankings pretty much need a spanking. Why? Because as Joe Nocera of the New York Times said, they exacerbate the status anxiety of prospective students and parents. If you want more on this, Google your annual reminder to ignore the US News and World Report college rankings. You'll find a link below this video. Think of your YS essay as a third date. So imagine you're sitting across from the person and the person's like, so why do you like me? You can't just be like, because you're hot. Or because, you know, my dad feels like by dating you, it will most certainly improve my job prospects in the future. Instead, name a range of very specific opportunities, courses, professors at the school that you love, and then connect each one back to you. Why? Because you're still basically telling the school about yourself in this Why Us essay. You can kind of think it roughly as like 50% about you, 50% about the school. A lot of students make it like 80% about the school and like 20% about them. Instead, weave it back and forth between you, them, you, them. When it comes to writing that 150 word extracurricular essay, here are three approaches that I've seen students use. So first is what I call the fire hose approach, which is basically what I'm using in this video. I'm just giving you like tons of information. In the case of your extracurricular essay, this will be information on like your accomplishments and like what impact it's had and like what specifically your role was. Second approach is the creative high flyer with nothing to prove approach. And this is for students who basically are like, their grades and their test scores are like on point and they don't wanna do the typical fire hose approach because they're worried that they're gonna blend in with other students. And they feel like, let me try something else. So they might, for example, focus on like one particular quality or one particular moment of something that they learned and use their 150 word extracurricular essay to emphasize that. The third approach, which is possibly my favorite one, is called the Uncommon Connections approach. And it basically involves thinking about your activity, first brainstorming what have other folks said, and then not doing that, and then figuring out what are three or four things that I've learned that are different from what everyone else is gonna say. All right, next tip, 
Write your community service essay like Elon Musk pitches the Powerwall. That's the most specific college essay advice you're gonna get. So if you Google Elon Musk Powerwall, Andy Raskin wrote this really cool article that basically analyzes his pitch. And there are five qualities that he says that Elon Musk includes in this pitch that you should put into any pitch you're making. College essay guy here saying that you should put these five elements into your community service essay. So what are they? And I'm kind of adapting what he said here. First, identify the problem that you were trying to solve with whatever project or community service thing you were doing. Second, identify why now. Like, raise the stakes. Why was this an important problem for you all to solve? Third, describe your vision for the future. If this problem were solved, what would the world look like? Fourth, describe, and this is really important, what you actually did on your project. So yes, what your team did, but you need to get specific about what your actual roles and responsibilities were. Finally, give a sense of what the impact was that your project had. That's it. Pause the video if you need to and write those down. Next, when you've got those short answer questions for certain schools, they ask you a question like, what's your favorite food? If you just say pizza, you're not giving them a ton of information about yourself. So if they give you a little extra room, like some of them you'll see that they give you like five or like 13 word space, like find a creative way to use that space. So maybe your answer is pizza, but maybe it's like Sunday nights at Giordano's Pizza with my grandmother. Uh, hashtag Chicago, hashtag Northwestern. Uh, or maybe it's like the birria tacos that my grandmother makes. So something that gives us a little bit of a sense of like context of what that food is for you. It doesn't have to just be food, obviously. This can go for anything where you've got like a one word or two word answer. If you're working on that why major essay and you don't know what you wanna study, don't freak out. I'd say just pick two, max three areas that you're kind of interested in exploring and say specifically like what it is about those areas that interest you. Maybe you include a sentence on what got you into it and a sentence on what you hope to do with that in the future. This is kind of a placeholder, so don't feel like they're gonna hold you to this and like three years from now, junior year, they're gonna be like, wait a minute, you said you wanted to study this. No, they're totally not gonna do that. It's just a placeholder for figuring out kind of where your brain and where your heart is headed. If you're writing that supplemental essay where the college asks you to like describe or define diversity or talk about a time when you interacted with someone who was different from you, Avoid the trap that a lot of students fall into of like describing a time when they interact with someone that they just met once. You know, like sometimes students will be like, I passed this homeless man and I decided to give him money. Or I passed this homeless man and I didn't decide to give him money and felt bad about that. Like avoid that trap. Instead, think more broadly about diversity because there are so many ways that we're like each other and so many ways that we are different from one another. So if you can broaden the way that you think about diversity and if possible, write about a relationship you have with someone who is different from you, you're gonna have a ton more to say about that. There are so many different ways to think about diversity. Age, political beliefs, where you live. Do you live in the city versus in the country? Educational background, cultural background, your relationship to your religion. Do you believe in God or not? How you spend a Sunday, Eagles fan or Jets? Learning differences, differences in abilities. You see where I'm going with this? There are tons of ways to think about ways you are different from someone else, but do broaden the way that you're thinking about diversity. Why? Because then when you're writing your essay, you're gonna be able to think about who's somebody that I know who actually does have these differences from me and what's our relationship like and how has it been impacted by our differences? If you're writing the supplemental essay that asks for you to describe a course that you would like to teach or create at the school, here are some tips. First of all, make it seem like it's an actual course at the actual school. How do you do this? Pretty simple. First, find a syllabus from that school, okay? Then use that as your template. Include, for example, the course description and make sure that that course description is actually encouraging like actual students, like freshmen who would be signing up to take this course. The more excited they are to take the course, the better your example will be. Next. Make sure that you include like some required reading. What are the actual books that you would like students to read in this class? What are some books that you're excited to read? Then if you can, see if you can figure out like where might this actually happen on campus and at what time? So include like hypothetical room numbers and hypothetical times. Finally, use a colon in the title because if you use a colon, then you'll be able to first of all make your title like super long, but then you can make part of it like kind of fun and part of it academic or first part academic and then the next part kind of fun. If you're applying to the University of California schools, make sure that your answers to the personal insight questions are connecting back to the 14 points of comprehensive review. What are these? You can Google them. They're the 14 things that the schools are looking for when they're evaluating your application. Do these in a style that's more straightforward. You don't need to get flowery. You won't have enough room in 350 words. Just get to the point. 
the best way I find to do it is first bullet point the content and then write your personal insight question. If you're writing a transfer essay, I think the best thing that you can do is let them know that you've really made an effort to make things work at your school. So it's not like you're just like, peace, I'm out of here. I didn't like it here, it didn't work out. No, let them know the specific things that you did in order to try to make your situation a fit for you. That's gonna show the kind of person you are and it's gonna show them that, hey, if you end up at their campus, you're not just gonna take off, you're actually gonna try and make it work there as well. That's what I got. If you like this video, hit me up with one of these or you can subscribe to get a bunch of videos in the future, like every day, all the time. I'm joking, I'll just send them to you every once in a while. Go to collegeessayguy.com to get more tips. If you've got a question or a tip that you wanna give, just put it in the comments below. See you soon.